You can at least wait until I say something before you just start laughing. <laughs> Look, it's that guy that looks like Sam the Eagle from the Muppets. I'm a bit in a, a, bit of a cranky mood tonight. I think it's my tie. See this tie? I think it's making me cranky. It rem it, you know what it looks like? It looks like the wallpaper in my old uh, Sunday school class for Bible study. <laughs> When I was a kid, I used to have to go and study the Bible, and I was like, I would look at the wallpaper, and I'd be like, <sighs> <laughs> it's kind of 70s looking, isn't it? It looks maybe like a disco. <laughs> Not that they were reading Bibles in Scottish discos. Actually, they were. That's what makes them Scottish discos. <laughs> and now we'll stop the music. Never mind the Bee Gees. It's time for the Bible. <laughs> Are you cranky tonight? You seem a bit cranky as well. Yeah, your tie's pissing me off. Uh, is that what it is? <laughs> why, why do you think it is? Do you think this tie possesses magical powers to annoy people? I highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great thing. That would have been a whole thing we could have run for the whole show, the magic tie that annoys people. And now you've just ruined the entire show. <laughs> oh, you mean the magic tie that annoys oh, people? Oh, yeah! I think that's what it does, Jeff. Watch this. Oh! Oh! oh. oh no! My God, it's only Monday and we've got this little material? How the heckers are we going to make it to Friday? Heckers. Yeah, I said heckers. Is, am I allowed to say heckers on CBS? What about Tootsie Fruits? Heckers. Can I say that? <laughs> Apparently you can't say that. What's that? Ooh la la! Heckers? Yeah. <laughs> Happy now? Happy now? Get your little flags out now? <laughs> we'll be right back, Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. following the instructions of the warm-up comedian <laughs> when he says, loud, natural-sounding laughter! <laughs> loud, natural sound He's even got a sign! <laughs> Either that is you're in some kind of lame gang. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's Monday, of course, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And two very important... Well, it might not be in your region. Still Sunday, Hawaii. <laughs> and Hawaii is still Sunday, even though it's Monday here. What does wrong with you? Don't you even understand that? How did you get to be a producer? Did you go to college? <laughs> Anyway, there's two very important birthdays today. Uh, Mitt Romney, 65 years old today, and Liza Minnelli, 66. That's Liza with a Z, bitch. But, uh, <laughs> no. I always wanted to say that in TV. <laughs> Mitt Romney and Liza Minnelli, very different, of course. Uh, one's an American hero who will get my vote for president any time, and the other one's Mitt Romney. So right there. 
It's a great day if you like the organic food. And who doesn't? <laughs> You know, in Seattle, uh, they've announced the, the country's first urban food forest. You know, then there's little rabbits in it, too. <laughs> now, what it is, is this thing where, where anybody can go in and you can eat fresh, organic fruit and stuff without paying a dime. You just, you just pick it up. I'm not making it up. Look, look at this. Look at the headline now. Urban food forest will be open to all. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that second headline down there? What's that? <laughs> E-I, E-I, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, the officials in Seattle say this is the first park of its kind anywhere, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, what about Central Park? I used to live in Manhattan, them pigeons were good eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's me taking the feathers out. Uh. Anyway, the seven... <laughs> I look forward to your pigeon-concerned letters. <laughs> anyway, the, the, this uh, urban farm, seven acres in Seattle, have apples, pears, uh, plums, blueberries. Pity they don't have any kumquats. <laughs> I'd be on the next plane to Seattle if they were giving away kumquats. <laughs> the truth is, I've never even thought of going into a forest for food. It would distract me from what I really go into the forest for, which is finding anonymous sex. <laughs> Or kumquats. <laughs> you know, in downtown LA, they're talking about building a forest like this one in Seattle, but instead of looking for berries, uh, it's kind of like a petting zoo. You get to hand feed Kardashians. <laughs> what, well, you owe me? I don't owe me about that. What the hell's wrong with you? you know, by the way, when you're feeding a Kardashian, you've got to keep your hands open or they could bite your face. <laughs> You know, when it comes to organic food, though, meeting the USDA, uh, USDA standards is very tough. To be labelled organic, the food cannot include uh, herbicides, uh, hormones, or antibiotics, or anything that ends in etos. <laughs> <laughs> Which means, I don't want anything to do. <laughs> you know who's going to lo love this urban food farm is the vegans. Now, in the past, I've been a little bit harsh on the vegans. I called them uh, priest-driving fascists. I've called them... <laughs> I've called them Herbie Boars. But now, but now, through no fault of my own, I am one of them. I have been turned to the dark side. I no longer do the horizontal mambo with bacon. Here's what happened. This is true. Last weekend, nearly two weeks ago now, I got food poisoning. It wasn't pretty. Let me just say, until then, I had no idea my ears could actually vomit. I was like, is I got food poisoning from a chicken at a very good organic restaurant. Right uh, in the valley. It's just right back there. You can probably see it. <laughs> and now I am frightened to eat chicken. I, my, a fear of chickens is called, what's it called? Alec Alecaterophobia. That's what it's called. That's a fear of live chickens. My fear is of uncooked chickens. So it's called <laughs> blah-a-phobia. <laughs> You know, when I was lying in bed recovering from the food poisoning, I was wishing I could go back in time and choke that chicken. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I, I wish I hadn't gone to the restaurant, I just stayed home and masturbated. <laughs> but what my point is, if I have one, is that ever since I had that bad chicken, I, I haven't had any meat at all. I can't, I can't stand the smell of it. I, 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 it makes me sick. I'm no longer... I can't even wear my assless chaps anymore. <laughs> They're leather. I have to wear free-range underpants. <laughs> Got enough space for my boys to roam around. In them. <laughs> oh, give me some pants. I actually tried to grow my own food once, but I can't find a store that sells Twinkie seeds. <laughs> Even after I planted some good stuff in my garden, the vegetables refused to grow. Literally, the cucumbers are like, why would we grow? You're just going to make dildo jokes with us. <laughs> and I'm like, well played, cucumber seed. <laughs> Everyone in L.A. loves to talk about eating organic. It's the only time in L.A. people care about what you look like on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't even know why you're on at that. He's like, oh, oh, what? Well, oh, yeah. Oh, he's right. Yeah. Do you do you eat organic food? Yeah, that was biting social commentary. Yeah, it was. I thought thanks there. Yeah. Really good. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> do you eat organic food? Guys? No, I don't eat. I'm dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> When you were alive, did you eat the organic food? Big, big organic person. And uh, and uh, how did that work for you? Not so well. Uh, <laughs> why? Because I'm dead. I see. <laughs> now, what do you think about this farm up in Seattle where you can just uh, pick berries off the trees yourself? That sounds lovely. You enjoy berries? Oh, I do. <laughs> You enjoy kumquats? You know. <laughs> what about Seattle? You ever been to Seattle? Oh, I've got at least three places over there. Three places yeah. in Seattle? What, yeah. What are you talking about? Three? Why would you need three places in Seattle? Well, it's variety, you know? It's a spice of life, man. Well, why, <laughs> but why do you need three places? It'll be raining in all three of them. It's Seattle. What's the point? The hell are you laughing at? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand these people, Craig. You don't need to understand them. You just need to entertain them. That's your job, man. Do your job. Hey, that's Jeff with a G, bitch. <laughs> Do the thing. Sure, why not? Coming up after the break, the big kumquat giveaway. Plus, we'll eat live pigeons and troll for anonymous sex. <laughs> Welcome back to the show where I'm trying to cheer up, but this tie's bringing me down. <laughs> What's happening to you? Very You've... upsetting, that tie. Yeah, it is. Maybe I should take it off. But then, if you take it off, then that's the tie wins. Can't let the tie win, man. Can't let the tie win. We're going to rise above it. We're going to make, we're going to make it more fun. Uh, look, I'll, I'll hang the kangaroo testicles from the tie. <laughs> The tie's rejecting them! <laughs> wait, wait. Oh. My balls dropped. <laughs> see what I did? Uh, Do you see what I did there? Uh, Do you see what I did? I, I took something bad that happened and I turned it to my advantage. <laughs> top shelf, Craig, top shelf. <laughs> Thanks, Jeffrey P. Now, could you tell the folks what's happening next? I certainly can. Okay. It's tweet mail time with Wizard Ferguson and his necktie of aggression. <laughs> ah, go. is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. And uh, the email. All right, let's see where we go here. This is, uh, this is from, uh, Kip in Reno, Nevada. You ever been, uh, oh, yeah. you ever been in Reno, Nevada? Got a little place there. You like go gambling? You go gambling maybe in Reno? Did you ever watch Reno 911? That's a good show. Love that show. Love that show. Oh, God. Have you ever been to Reno? I have, yeah. I've got a place there. <laughs> what the hell, man? What, what were you doing in your place in Reno? Take crystal meth? I, I did. <laughs> Is that why you're in the condition you're in now? You got that right. Yeah. Anyway, Kip in Reno, Nevada says, Hey, Craig, have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Yeah, during the monologue. <laughs> About halfway through, I was like, oh, boy. Uh, this is from Matthew in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever uh, met Matthew? I, I have, once. <laughs> what happened? We took the train to Cleveland. <laughs> what, what kind of train was it? Uh, it was a, a locomotive? No, I think it was a steam engine. Steam, steam train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, this is 
is from Matthew in Cleveland, Ohio. Says, uh, sup, GP in the Fergs. I want a new pet. What do you recommend for a young bachelor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know that guy, and I hate him. That's, it, what, that's why we're no longer together. I see. <laughs> All right, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's a young bachelor that wants to have a new pet. Sup. Who's up to you, buddy? Sup. <laughs> uh, this is from Sam in St. Louis, Missouri. I don't know if you can tell, but Sam's a peacock. He's one of them peacocks right now. See that? Mm. But he's got one of them big feathery asses. <laughs> Dear Craig, look, here's the thing. When you feel like laughing, it's actually okay to do that. Like, I'm watching you go, oh, <laughs> holding it. And I said, the last thing I want you to do is to hold in your laughter. You're in the What's the coming to go? studio audience. <laughs> the whole idea is you let the laughter out. Oh, 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 I'm going to laugh. Yes, please do. It's too late now. Too late now. <laughs> Did you see that? You see that lady in the audience? She was like, <laughs> like that. That, that necktie is really affecting you. It is. It, it is, isn't it? It really is. It really is. It's making me awful. I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's not me. It's my necktie. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is uh, Sam says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm taking my 14-year-old son to a concert this weekend. Will I look like an old man and embarrass him if I wear earplugs? No, you already got that big feathery ass. He's already embarrassed. <laughs> This is from Corey in Muscogee in Oklahoma who says, uh, Dear gentlemen, well, that's rather nice, isn't it? That is quite lovely. Well, that's rather lovely. I tell you, it's lovely to see manners in the correspondence, isn't it, Jeff? It <laughs> certainly is. Why, that's certainly true. I tell you, I wouldn't be so cross and grumpy if everyone was that lovely in their correspondence to the show. <laughs> or if you weren't wearing that tie, perhaps. Well, one can blame one's neckwear, well, Jeffrey, but when you come right down to it, it's really the underpants that count. <laughs> please, please. Please, I've just got used to you not liking me. <laughs> <laughs> Dear gentlemen, I went home with this guy I've been seeing for a few weeks last night and found he had a waterbed. I think it's weird. What do you think? <laughs> Does the gentleman look like a peacock? If he's got a large feathery arse, that would be weird. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. I, I went over on one leg and then I nearly went completely over on one leg. Is that bad? I think my nuts might be out of whack. I smell another pea body. My uh, first guest tonight is a very beautiful actress. She's in a show called G GCB. It's uh, Sundays on ABC. <sighs> Take a look at this. Please welcome the lovely Leslie Bibb, everybody. Leslie. Very nice. Thank you. I like this. It's daring. Thank you. Is this time making? I don't know what's happening with your giant. It's driving me crazy. I know. It's just grumpy, isn't it? See, that's supportive, <laughs> Jeff. Right there, that's supportive. That's taking the grumpy tie idea and running with it. I mean, it's Jeff, really? Yeah. <laughs> and why is Jeff British today? Um, <laughs> well, we were just doing that kind of thing. Because somebody was nice to us in the emails, we started to talk like it was down to oh. Nabby. Like oh. that. Would you like to talk like this? No. Well, we can talk like this as much no, as we want. I English accent. No, it sounds rather good, no, actually. No, it's terrible. Yeah, it sounds great. It's like watching Downton Abbey, but with sexiness. <laughs> Why are you cranky? It's because of my tie, I think. Really? Just your tie? Are you, do you have a little, like, a cold? 
I, I did have, I think it's going away, and I also had food poisoning, and while we're on the subject, shingles. Shut up! Let's break it down. What happened? How did, did the shingles come? The shingles first, then the shingles went away, then I got the cold, then that went away, then I got food poisoning. I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. Did you eat a bad chicken? Bad chicken, bad chicken, yeah. Yeah. What, where'd you have this said chicken? Well, in a restaurant. I, I don't want to say because I can't prove it and I don't want to get sued. Was it a fancy restaurant or was it like It was McDonald's? an organic, super healthy restaurant. Mm -hmm. Does that make you angry? Well, it bugs me a little bit when that happens because have you're you ever sitting... Have food poisoning? Yeah, well, yes. I mean, it's awful. It's very, very bad. It's no good. You get very skinny afterwards, though. You're very yeah. svelte. Apparently, that, that, that went right by me. No, uh, it didn't. <laughs> Although I did think, as I was actually hurling and all sorts of other stuff yeah. going on, I was thinking, losing weight, losing, losing weight. weight. <laughs> you look very nice. Are you having a nice time on the uh, good Chris? What is it, GCB? Good. G don't say the B word. People get so crazy. Well, they get good Christian bells. No, and then it was. I know what it originally was. It was yeah. good Christian. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, female dogs, yeah. and um, and then it became bells, and then that wasn't really right. So then we went back to just GCB. Well, what does GCB say? You can stand for anything. Uh, G we'll do our game. Okay, GCB, let's do it. GCB, uh, Jeff Cuddles Bachelors. <laughs> George Clooney's balls. Nice! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Jeff, you got it all to do. Girly Kookaburra. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to disallow that. Cougar yeah. is a K. Yeah. It's like a K on yeah. Cougar Yeah, no, what? I'm not speaking to you anymore. Ah, oh, what the hell? He's surly, too. I think that it's because he's... Did your tie? the tie, yeah. Now, when you saw the tie, did it immediately make you go, ugh? Or were, is it something that you just I think, it, I think it just crept up on me. It like, your dress. Does your, your dress look uh, cheerful? Does it make you feel it cheerful? It makes me feel happy. Yeah, no, it looks nice. It's got a slight, and I mean this in a lovely way, a slight flaggish quality to it. <laughs> That's not bad. I mean, that's nice. It's not good. Is it not? No, it, it's got a slight, you know... It has a little bit. I have a flag... I'm a flag? No, it's flag-ish. It's got a flag-ish quality. I never said... No, it was... but flag-ish, if you say ish on the end, it doesn't make... I look like a flag? No! No, you don't look like a flag. You look like... You look like a... a, 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 a... Hey, Jeff, JCB, uh, come on! Come on, come on! No, I Thank just, you. I meant because of the uh, color blocking. Color? Ah, see? That's so Vogue magazine of I you. I understand about ladies' fashions. You know why? Because I like ladies. I do. You yeah. like a good shoe. I like a good, what you got on? A loop. Whoa. Very good. La Boutons, I yes. see as Wait, well. Wait, did you meet him? Yeah, in Paris. Why were you in Paris? To meet Christian La Boutin, the designer of the shoes. <laughs> but did you do a bunch of shows? Do it again, shows? do it again. Did you do Thank a bunch you. of shows there? Yeah. Why wasn't I on your show when you were in Paris? <laughs> Would you have come if I'd asked you? Yes! <laughs> what does GCB stand for? <laughs> Jeff's Craig's bitch. <laughs> uh, and see, that was good. Yeah, very good. Very good. That was a good one. Very good, what Jeff. Very good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good. Took, took you a while, though, you got it, Matt. <laughs> So he's, he's upset. So coy now. now. He's very. He's, he's upset. He's very... I can tell. I know him pretty well. He's upset. What? He's so. I feel like. Look, well, when you're with your boyfriend, you can tell he's upset. He doesn't have to say anything, right? You know he's going to be upset yes. when he's upset, I right? Know. Well, that's kind of like me and Jeff, except he's not my boyfriend. <laughs> 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 do you? Do you have it? Do you like when you? Are you in therapy with your boyfriend? You should be. I do therapy. I'm a huge. Oh, uh, me too. I love therapy. I love therapy too. I, I go, think I, it's. I go along there. I know you have to. Yeah, I, Not I you actually have do to. have to. No, I do have. <laughs> but don't you think? I think it's a good thing to do. It I mean, does. I'm a hot mess. I need help. No, you. Yeah, I do. And like, I mean, I'm a handful. I am. I'm a bit of a handful. I'm sure. In, in what way? Are you testy? No, I'm just a lot of woman. You are. You are a lot. A of lot woman. of woman. I'm like. I'm. I'm. Do you have spice. needs? Do I have needs? Yeah, as a woman. <laughs> Well, doesn't every woman have needs? I feel I'm in a no good place, Ad. <laughs> I mean, I, when I say I'm a lot of woman, I mean, I, I am, um, I, I demand like him to be accountable. 
I think. And so I like to talk about feelings. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> I do. I want to talk about it. Because here it is. I grew up with sisters. So I just, I don't, don't come back at me with some nitpick about something that happened two weeks ago. If you have a problem with me, I want to deal with it now and not like... You know, yeah, I, that bugs you, me. You're right, sister girl. Sister, but, you, but don't you hate it when, like, your lady comes up to you and is like, remember that thing that you did three weeks ago? I can't remember three no, weeks no, ago. No, 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 she doesn't do that. Yeah, I like to talk just, just... about it. She punches you? <laughs> right in the face? That's what, I, I, yeah, if, if I ask for it nicely. <laughs> That's why I'm in therapy. No, no. Fight Club of you. Yeah, no. Well, we don't talk about that. But, we don't yeah. talk about that. What happens in Fight Club stays in Fight Club. Right, exactly. Well, that's Vegas. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> Come. I mix them You're together. Such a girl. I'm such a girl. I am these. Uh, um, do we have to take a break? That's Why it. Why are you saying it in such a passive aggressive Every, way? Okay, everybody, everyone's like, all right. Yeah. Fine, bitch. All right, well, let's take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. With Leslie Flag. Flag. Uh, it's, you're not, That's it's, not a good pickup line. Look, Remember I'm, last time I was here, we talked about pickup lines, and you said, Do you own a raft? was like your pickup line. Yeah. Now the flag has entered the raftum. <laughs> Wait, do you own a raft isn't a good pickup line? I mean, if we're not near water, I don't think it is. <laughs> Right? So, like, uh, you know, at the beach, if you come up, went up to a girl and said, hey, uh, you on a raft? <laughs> I might think you're cute if yeah, you did that. Yeah, yeah, you'd like it. Just because like, you're funny, that yeah, would be yeah, funny. Hey, you got a raft? You want to you see my raft? I don't want to see uh, your raft. I, don't, I, don't I went too far. I went you too went far. too far. Yeah, yeah. And when you said, hey, do you want to hey, go on a raft? Hey, hey, do you want to go on a raft? Not in the water, just on the sand. You have to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would freak you out. All right. Hey, uh, we're out of time. So, That's it. Um, oh. what do you want? My, uh, you, look, your hand touched my leg there, and you I didn't know, even I mean can't, it. I don't. I can't. No, I'm do it again. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you, uh, southern. We're handsy. We're handsy in the bib family. I, I, I've been south of the Mason Dixon. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> when I say I've been south of the Mason Dixon, by the way, that's code. <laughs> wink, wink. Okay, what mouth organ I've already done? Okay, that's. Kind of like, never mind. <laughs> South of the Mason Dixon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, well, you could do awkward pause or you can go for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. What time is the shadow statement? It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. Here's how we do it. Don't touch it till you earn it. $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it, just like the bird oh. news. Two win. ways to win. Okay. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a back in your box. No, 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 no. It's the box. No, look, <laughs> there's a box in my head. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in the box. You try and imagine what's in the box. If you're right, you win the $50. If you're wrong, something awful will happen. <laughs> I'm going to guess the box in your head. Okay. <laughs> you ready, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm imagining a box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Is it in your head right now? It's in my head. I want you to see it in color. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking it up. Okay. You see a flag? <laughs> Jeff? We what? would have accepted grape-colored bowls. <laughs> but yes, the answer is a flag. It's a flag! My, uh, my next guest, my next guest is an Emmy-winning writer. His new series, Luck, airs Sundays on HBO, which is not television. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> David Milch, everybody, David Milch.
great, and nothing like a flag. That's just a thing I'm saying to everybody tonight. How you doing, pal? It's praise from Caesar. Yeah. How are you? I'm well, thanks. I'm, uh, are you well? Because no, I heard you were I'm sick. Ill. Yeah, what happened? It, it occurs to me you may be bad luck. <laughs> the last time I was on, I was hemorrhaging from my eye. That's right, you had a bad eye, yeah. And now, look at this. Look, your, your hand is all swollen. <gasps> look, it's uh, the two different sizes. And this is not from protracted self-abuse. <laughs> not that anyone asked. Yeah, I was going to ask you, though. <laughs> But th I have the same problem with my testicles, one bigger than the other. Do you have that? Oh, Does it match the testicles? It's a curse. That, it's a curse. What happened to your hand? Um, they're still in the process of ruling things out. But, uh, but we, we soldier on. Right, right. Is it something uh, serious or something hilarious? <laughs> Maybe they're a little of both? Yes. Yeah, all right. Congratulations on the new show. Thank Luck's you very doing very well, isn't it? Thank you, yes. And you are a degenerate gambler, but you've turned it to your own advantage. <laughs> the, uh, uh, is, is that accusation? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's a, I'm making it up. You're not a degenerate gambler, are you? Yes. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think the, the last time I was on the show, I suggested that if, if only I'm able somehow to make $25 million yeah. from this show, I'm even on my research. <laughs> it's going to be a while then. Just throw in the dike. You better hope for uh, maybe a couple of movie Something deals else. and stuff like that. Yeah. I was surprised when you stopped Deadwood. Uh, David did Deadwood. He wrote Dead. It was a great show. I'm surprised that you stopped that. That could have gone on for that. <laughs> Your surprise did not match mine. Why? It, because it, it was an unexpected turn of events. I see. Not worth pursuing in this context, although my barrister may have something to say about it. I that. see. <laughs> so what not we're saying so, is... Not so, not so. Said in aid of humor. <laughs> well, you've to come to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> the humor does need aid on this show, you're right. I, um... Well, what about, uh, you got Dustin Hoffman in this? He's wonderful. good. Yeah, he's yeah. He's wonderful. And yeah. Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte, yeah. He's... Who is superb. And, yeah. And uh, a cast of Degenerates, as you saw. I did see the old dude look, uh, yeah, a little... Uh, a little, little well-worn. little ropey. Ropey. Uh, yeah, a little ropey. <laughs> and the, uh, it's, it's set around the world of horses, isn't it? Horse, yes, it horse is. racing. And, and other forms of gambling as well. Poker and uh, craps. Mm. Have, What's you your ever, have you ever... Uh, gambled? I don't really do that. No. I'm Scottish. You know, so if I go to a casino or somewhere and they say, you give us your money and we might give you some back or we might not, I'm like, no. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> but, so you might give me more back, but you might give me nothing back? Yeah. No. <laughs> that's, that's stupid. I, I, I honestly... It is stupid. Even in the... Mo in the you know, when you put it that way, it's stupid. It is. It's crazy. <laughs> Like, when I was in the throes of my worst throes of addiction, before I got sober and stuff like that, like, I could be out of my mind, like, ah, eh, ah, and people would go, hey, you want to go and gamble it? I'd be like, are you no. crazy? No. <laughs> Even then. Even then I wouldn't do it. I cannot make the connection to it. What is in gambling? What? Did, did I tell you, uh, uh, have I told you the story when uh, your predecessor, Tom Snyder, had this show? Yeah. And the, the day that the O.J. verdict came in. Right. Did I, did I tell you this story? No, I don't and, think so. And, and uh, uh, in those days, I was doing little pharmaceutical research myself. Well, you know, <laughs> and, and, there's rumors. Yeah. I know. I've and had there's, one room, there's room for more than one of us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, and I used to start to get my load on at around 2 o'clock in the afternoon to come on the show at around 4.30. I would stop at the Ralph's. I would get some Mad Dog, mm. little Mogan David. Mm -hmm. I would get 500 lottery tickets, yes. which I would give to the parking attendants. Right. And we would scrape the lottery tickets. It was a routine. Right. And I showed up on this particular day fully bound with my... Mad dog with other pharmaceutical accoutrements. I understand. <laughs> and they were waiting for me outside saying that the OJ verdict had come in and I was not to go on. Oh. And I, 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 I'm one of the world's great experts on the OJ, the entire OJ conflagration. How can you not let me go on? They said, away with away, you. Away, away you go, yeah. 
So there's a tattoo parlor up on Beverly. Ah. <laughs> and my thought was, I'm not going to waste my load. Of course not. You know, you can't do that. You get all messed so, up like that, you got to do something with it. I went, into the, I went into the tattoo parlor, and I commissioned the gentleman who was, who was behind the counter. You commissioned uh, the tattoo? Yes. I wanted the USS Forrestal with planes taking off and landing. Wow! The whole shot. That's shot. why your arm's that, like that. It could yeah. well be. Yeah. And he asked what I wanted him to do about it, and I said, I want you to do it. And I then realized that he was vacuuming the place, and they were ah, closed. They were closed. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, Nothing so you, you, ne you, never, you never got the So tattoo. relatively speaking, this isn't bad. It's not a bad thing at all. Huh? <laughs> you know, I'm surprised that story stopped when it did. I felt they had another season in it right there. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you do like the ambiguous ending, yes, don't you, right. David? Yeah. I'm a fan of it, too. There, it just, went, it, it just yeah, happened. It just there. happened yeah, again. Yeah. We're out of time. Now, awkward pause, mouth organ, or big cash prize? Big cash prize. I knew you were going to say that. It's ridiculous. All right. What time is it, Janus David? It's time once again for the big cash prize. Here's how you can win. Two ways to win, all right? All you're right. a degenerate gambler, you understand this. Uh, yes. $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. You can either answer a question or guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. If you guess correctly, he'll tell us. You'll win the money. If you guess wrong, something awful will happen. What question? You... Yeah. <laughs> question? Please. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. <laughs> its capital city is Reykjavik. According to insurance companies, who has more car accidents, men or women? Women. Women is close. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. <laughs> men. It's the correct answer! <laughs> I want to apologize to you, man. For what, pal? Well, I was cranky with you tonight. It was this tie. I've been cranky with you. I would like to apologize to the lesbians, Lesbian Row, and uh, <laughs> the rest of you, and uh, to Michael and folks at home. I, it's my tie. It's made me cranky. No, it's all right, pal. I well, no, it's not all right. And here, sorry to, excuse me. I'm going to deal with it. <laughs> Craig, Craig, let, let's think this through. No, let's, no, let's man. Let's not do that. No, man. No, the tie's gonna get it. Or you give me, give me 50 bucks right now, or the tie gets it. You better cut the tie. <laughs> please, please, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Ah, you've been making me cranky all night. Hey, what's my fault? Oh, come on, give me a second chance. Oh, come on, please, Governor. Governor, are you a cockney? Yes. <laughs> Clean my chimney, is that code? I sure hope so. <laughs> okay, the tie gets one more day, but that's it. Good night, everybody. Good night.